forecast only on Fox 47 News at 10. So the snowflakes today, it was very exciting, and then it stopped. So all this, you know, tension, when will it come? <laughs> well, it's already back. There was that brief reprieve, though. I mean, it was, you know, just cloudy and cold, and then the snow started right back up. And it's, uh, it's here to stay for at least overnight tonight into oh. tomorrow morning. I mean, check out the radar. There it is. Across pretty much all of mid-Michigan, but maybe the southern parts of our viewing audience like, you know, south of Jackson, they're seeing a little bit less of that snow at the moment. But don't be surprised if you see more of that creep up overnight. And uh, on the wider scale, you can see that this is affecting a pretty large amount of people here. I mean, most of the entire state is getting some of that snowfall. Now, it's going to be tracking its way to the northeast uh, all the way through the night into Monday morning. And so far, we've picked up about half an inch, maybe just a little bit more, in Jackson and Eaton counties, at least from reports I've seen from the National Weather Service. And uh, that's going to keep falling overnight, where we could accumulate a little bit more than that. Meanwhile, temperatures across uh, mid-Michigan on the cold side are, well, actually, I should say less cold side because these temperatures are actually rising. The reason being that we have this southeast wind kind of kicking up and bringing in a little bit of the warmer temperatures. Now, of course, warm is like a relative term. It's not warm, it's less cold. And that means that there's a little bit of a wind chill bringing it down, but we're actually already at our low temperature for the night. We're only going to be getting warmer all the way through the morning. But the snow dominates your weather headlines. Snow continuing overnight tonight. It will end early Monday morning. So that means it should be about uh, finishing up right around sunrise, I would say. So it might make for a slippery morning, morning commute. I don't know how much more snow we'll see in the late morning, though. Most of it should be finished by then, totaling about one inch of accumulated snowfall. Your future cast here, this low pressure system, that's our troublemaker, making its way to our northeast by the time Monday morning arises. Most of the snow ahead of the system, so behind it for Monday, things slowly but surely start to clear up. And we'll see some minor, minor lake effect snow flurries and that might track into mid Michigan. But for the most part, we'll start to clear up Monday evening into Tuesday. And then it's Tuesday that we see our next low pressure system making its way in. That's going to be tracking its way to our north throughout Tuesday's forecast. And as it passes kind of closely by, but mainly off to our north, we could see just a light line of some snow flurries with that one. Meanwhile, temperatures, we've been talking about it for a while now. These temperatures are cold, well below average for where we should be for this time of year. A uh, bit of a mild warm up for Monday, then it plummets back down by Wednesday down to about 19. That's about a 10 degree difference over about just two days. And then another 10 degree difference up towards another two days next week. And we will be bouncing back up at least a little bit as far as temperatures go to something somewhat more seasonable for next weekend. Your overnight forecast, a low which this is one of those tricky low situations. We've already reached our low temperature. It's only going to be getting warmer with those southeast and southwest winds increasing overnight. So it'll be not so bad. Light snow remaining overnight, but because of these warmer, warmer temperatures, rather less cold temperatures, I will say there's a chance for a little bit of sleet mixed in rather than just pure snowfall. Your forecast tomorrow warming up to about 29 degrees might hit that 30 degree mark. AM snowfall morning, late morning into the afternoon. I would say we see less of that snowfall. Windy conditions, however, so it might feel a little bit colder than that 29. Your 1-800 Hanson's kid, 18-month-old Adrian. Nice picture there. In your seven-day forecast, we see cold temperatures continuing. Again, we've been talking about that for a while now, of course. But look at towards the end. There's like light at the end of the tunnel as far as those wintry temperatures go. We do warm up a bit towards the low 30s for next weekend. But there are some chances for snow beyond just tonight into tomorrow chance for snow on Wednesday, maybe a little bit more as well towards next Saturday. But look at Wednesday, Brian. I mean, high of 19, low of 8. It's going to be very cold, and that's not including wind chill. Yeah, so bundle up. Oh, absolutely. Head out with extra time. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Justin.